Hello everyone and welcome to Learning How to Cook Caribbean with Larry Fenelier. Today we have a special show. Pirates Pub meet the Caribbean. They're in the Caribbean. Woo! Pirates in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark. All right. So let me introduce the folks. George Cohen. Hey, George. Hey, Larry, how are you doing? I'm fine. George is from Mountain View, California. He's a pirate. Next to him is the captain of the Silver Shark, George yep. Sepich. And don't and, and, and don't don't forget Zoe the pirate dog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. And who's going to be cooking today? Our own bar wench. Arr, I'm Arr. so excited, I've been chopping all night. <laughs> yeah, Julia Senesak. And uh, next to Julia, of course, yours truly. Very. All right. And then next to me is my sister, who is an, uh, a new pirate on board. She always wanted to be a pirate. That's Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Yes, I, I was looking for my pirate outfit, but I okay. couldn't find it. Okay. All right. Well, hope hope you hope you find it sometime. And <laughs> next to Lisa is Paul, our our musician, our musical director on board the Silver Paul. Shark. Hey, Paul. G'day. 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 Great. And next to Paul, our resident bona fide pirate. Richard Wooding from South Africa. Hey, Rich. Ah, uh, Sir Richard. Yeah. And of course, of course, our own beautiful new pirate, Serena. Glam Serena. pirate today. <laughs> yeah, Serena has a show coming up this week, folks. Uh, Sweet Hand Cooking with you, Serena. You can, you can Larry, cooking. You can tell she's already a star. She's just going by her first name like Madonna and stuff. Right. One name. Um, hey. One name. <laughs> just like Serena now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, what is bland? I mean, you know, that, that name is no longer existing. What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Serena. So, um, good Our luck. You are looking grand though, Serena. And, Thank you. And Pirate we, glam. We, yes, yes, yes. I will be looking forward to your show uh, this Thursday. Thursday, right. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Thursday night. 7 p.m. Eastern. Great, great. So, without further ado, let's get to the galley. Okay. Hey, Jules. Yeah. What you cooking for the bunch of scurvy, scoundrel pirates today? Well, I've got a fabulous um, menu planned. We're mm -hmm. going to be doing a recipe called um, Drunken Creamy Coconut Shrimp, which is just lovely. Right. And then we're going to serve that over calypso rice. Uh -huh. We will accompany it on the side with a, a lovely uh, spring green uh, uh, tropical salad and some um, steamed plantain. And then we're going to make a lovely Trini Rum Runner, of course, to come. Ah, uh, gotta have that. Nice, ah. nice. Ah. Ah. Without further ado, I'm ready to rock here. Okay. I, I always have to ask you, Julia, is there any crikey in the recipe? <laughs> there is some crikey. I'm going to put it in here in just a minute for you, Cal. Okay. So, okay. Here we go. Here I brought over a prep tray. We're going to okay. just start with marinating the shrimp. Right. So I have some lovely shrimp in here that I have cleaned. Uh, it's peeled and deveined, but I have left the tails on per the recipe. Okay, and uh, Richard Richard has a recipe posted, so um, okay. we, we will go down to that marinating section. And then another way that I've also done it, uh, that I like to do a lot of times in, in a shrimp that's in a sauce, is if you take the tail off and just split it exactly in half, it makes a sweet little curly Q shrimp too. So another way that you could do that in the, in the recipe. So right. here we've got lovely, nice shrimp ready to go. I'm going to add to that a minced one um, habanero pepper. Now, I'm using habanero. It said habanero or scotch bonnet. I could not get scotch bonnet at the store. Well, I, I understand because um, scotch bonnet is something that I call for in, in the recipe. Um, right. But so, certain parts of the United States, you know, you, you can't get scotch bonnet. So hey, you hey, use... Sometimes. Yeah. Hey, hey, Julia? Yeah. I appreciate you leaving the tail on so we could all get some tail this afternoon. <laughs> you right? So... Uh, <laughs> but I did use a nice serrano pepper, and it gave okay. a lovely level of heat. 
So nice. I tested this recipe last night, and I want to say that it is just. It's very complex, yet the, the recipe is very easy to make. But the flavors, really the flavors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the flavors so are very complex. First, we're going to go ahead and mm -hmm. put in the, um, the, the uh, serrano pepper there. Good. And then we are going to put in the spice called for, which is cumin, uh, white mm -hmm. pepper, and salt. And I've just got that measured out already in my little nice. box. And then the recipe calls for um, three ounces of rum. I'm going to use the seven-year-old. Uh, which is darker because I thought that really added complexity here. The um, Angostura Mr. rum, goes in there like that, yeah. And then of course it calls for some um, a dash of bitters. I probably dashed at least twice. Maybe. That's that's good to go. That's that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if we want to double the amount of rum, that won't ruin it, right? No, that no, won't ruin won't. it. Yeah. There's yeah. more rum later in the recipe, Captain. All right, cool. All right, you have me worried. So, we're going to uh, mix that up well, and then we're going to uh, set it in the fridge. Now, if you were going to cook this in just a few minutes, you probably could leave it sit, but you don't want it on the counter too long because even though that speeds the marinating process, nothing like bad shrimp except maybe bad sushi. Yes, so, yeah. 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 So we're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge. Excuse me while Lovely. I do that. Okay. Okay. So we've got that marinating now, and I'm going to take the marinade tray away, and let's go to our next step. I have to say one thing, though, um, Julia, you, you're very, you're very organized. I mean, you, 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 you've trayed everything according to the um, to the recipe, and uh, you're doing a fabulous job. Well, I was very impressed with Julia's cook. prep photos. Yeah. <laughs> Your prep photos on the event page. Yeah, they were very stunning. Nice. They were laid yeah. out and cool and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, and I love to cook, but you know what? I lived in my old house for 12, 14 years, and finally, about two years before I left that house, I got a nice gas range because that's what you really like to have, right? And right. then I sold the darn house. So I moved to a nice new house. But it's got an electric range again, which is really not the best. So, I, you I, know, I've kind of abused my range, but it cooks right. for me. <laughs> and, 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 and the thing about it is why, why you have things all treed out is because of your, your workspace. Actually, right. you, have, you have no workspace. By the Whatsoever. stove. I really don't. Yeah. It's just a so, little bit on each but, side. But so. we're working. We're going fine. So let's um, let's go to the next Okay. Stage. Well, the next step is that we're going to go ahead and steam the plantain. And what I've done is I've gotten the plantain in um, a saucepan. I've already cut it. I had a pretty nice ripe plantain that um, was nicely yellow, although I, I will say not as nice as like African or Caribbean plantain. That should mm -hmm. be nicer yellow. Yeah. And uh, with a few black... Flex. So I cut it on the diagonal, mm -hmm. and I've got those here in the pot. I put a little water in here, and I'm just using a real basic little, you know, five dollar steamer set in there. Mm -hmm. Fits in mini pot sizes, so it's it's real uh, flexible. I'm gonna put the lid on that and close the steamer top, and we're just going to turn that on back here in the back on Great. not too high, about about medium. Uh, medium. That, that, you could. You could let it, let it, um, let it go higher. Up. Yeah, yeah, okay. let it go higher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much, by the way, how much water are you have in that pot? I put, you know, in the bottom of the pot, I put about this much water. I don't really want the water up on the bottom of the steamer mm. because you don't want the plantain to get wet right. in the yeah. water. You just want them to steam. Mm. So we will need to keep an eye on it because yes. you don't want it yes. to blow by. Exactly. Yeah. So wow. we'll keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. right. you being, being good pirates, is there any sea salt in, anywhere? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Actually, I always use sea salt, It's and I use this little bowl with my little tiny salt spoon. A friend mm -hmm. of mine brought me this back from an a, a overseas trip, and this is my general... I, I, I think I've seen white stuff in a spoon like that in the 80s. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Captain, you are so tawdry. <laughs> That's a different run, Sepich. <laughs> <laughs> First, we're going to do the rice. Because, uh, the does not take long to cook, and we're going to want to uh, let that, let that, oh, we're getting some smoking on the burner. Okay. okay. Do, 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 do. So here now I've got um, all of the ingredients that we're going to put into the rice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and put the rice in this beautiful red pot. This is my one of my favorite, my La Cousse. Mm -hmm. 
lovely that's a that's a Dutch oven. Mama. It is, and I have a bigger one than this. And yeah. and uh, oh. there's, I just I just love this pot. It's one of my favorites, and and I use it all the time. But I found that, uh, you know, when I like uh, when I make a big batch of bolognese, for example, I want to make mm. it and then freeze it. So I because yeah. it takes a long time. So I asked for another one last year for actually that Dutch oven. Um, I've cooked. My dad has one, and I've cooked stew chicken. You know, training food in that, and it works very nice. It works like one of those big pots we have here, Serena. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it worked like like that. It, it, I it, love it, that chocolate. Yeah. yeah, we may need we we may need to edit the show later because she just said, "I just love this pot." We don't want it to be taken out of context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorites. Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's okay. go back to the um to the cooking there. All right, back to the cooking. So here we've got my lovely pot, and we're going to turn the heat on to. We're going to turn that on. I think, Larry, don't you think to like a medium high because we want to get that pretty hot. Yeah, and um, you're going to put the the oil in it. A yeah, bit of oil, right? Yeah. So, so I want to get my pot hot first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to give that a second to um get warmed up, and I'll tell you what our ingredients are then. Here we've got um. Let's see. We've got one large carrot diced. And I make that pretty small because you know this is gonna be um mm, there we go. This is this is in the rice and the rice is you know, you don't yeah. want it too chunky because it would taste Exactly. You you, you you have to dice. You have to dice right. that, you have to dice the celery. Yeah, very small. And so then we have um, a stalk of celery diced mm -hmm. and one red pepper also mm -hmm. diced. Mm -hmm. Again, pretty small dice. So that um, it will uh, it'll nicely combine. We also in the um, in the uh, rice recipe we're using snow peas. Now I cut these up. Mm -hmm. I probably could have left them whole. It might have looked nice, but they that's mm -hmm. pretty large, and it would have almost been the size of our shrimp. So there was no okay. specific instruction, and I just yeah. decided to do that. And then um, of course to start us off, we've got um, we've got uh, an ounce of. Um, of minced ginger mm -hmm. and also an ounce or I'm sorry four cloves of mm -hmm. minced garlic garlic yep. and then a half a cup of raisins and I chose mm -hmm. golden raisins because I like them and I think they offer a nicer color I that's what I use they use they, okay. they're fabulous yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they're fabulous and then this also has turmeric in it oh. and um, so we're going to be liberal with that because that's some of the base seasoning of the of the rice now uh, one thing that I did say you know Larry you and I talked about how to pre-prepare the rice. And so last night when I was getting it ready, I decided I was going to take a page from Chinese cooking. I have done quite a bit of Chinese cooking in the past, and what you learn about fried rice is that it's really made from leftover rice. So That's right. Mm -hmm. When you make fried rice, Chinese fried rice, you start with cold rice. And one of the reasons that it's always so nicely separated and doesn't clump up is because that rice is already cooled and the starch is now, you know, reformed on the rice. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I did last night. I made the rice and I cooled it. I decided yeah. that was a great way to go. Now, if you, if you didn't have time to do that, you could go ahead and and cook it. But you do want to do it so that it's not too done, or you're going to end up with mushy rice in the pot when the dish is finished. That's now, right. um, you know, the rice recipe that I use mm. is mm. two to one. One part rice, two part water, put it in the pot, put on the lid, well, let it come to a boil, put the lid on, and do not look at it, absolutely not, for 15 minutes. And when you, when that's done, that is ready to serve kind of sticky rice, you know, like Chinese food, but it always comes out very well made. So what I did this time, I cooked it for 11 minutes. And uh, it's, it's also important to the type of rice that you're using. If you're yeah. using... Um, long grain which is yeah. what we I use um, mm -hmm. the the boiling process it's it's a little different um, well, and, you know I like basmati too I did yeah. use long grain but, here also, well, yeah yeah um, for, for this dish for this dish uh, basmati uh, just wouldn't work no, ne it's ne ne neither would well. yeah it's it's gonna be clumpy um, hey, hey, Larry, I, I just want I just want to add that I wouldn't mm. suggest uh, um, um, using uh, this recipe with Eric rice this wouldn't work well 
What? 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 Uh, what? Eric, Eric Rice, Eric Rice is a is a mutual friend of ours. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good effect there, Paul. Good effect. <laughs> now let's boom, boom. let's back back to the rice. Back to the okay, cookies. So back All right. To so the that part know? that part should be hot by now because it I think hot, you turned yes. it up. All right, just so put your oil in it. And we're going to put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil mm -hmm. in it. You okay. you don't you don't need the recipe. Put it put that put that away. I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna instruct you. Okay, great. All right. So I've got the oil and it's getting hot. Right. Now okay. what do we do? We're gonna put in the um the garlic. No, not 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 yet. You you want to you want to put in your aromatics first. So you put in you put in your garlic. Okay. And your ginger. Alright. And uh stir that up. You you want you want to now flavor the um flavor the oil a little bit. Then then you can start putting in your your celery and the carrots. Oh, I can smell that already. There's the celery in and the carrots. Mm -hmm. Okay, mix that up. Do, do, do. Now we're going to let this just cook a bit. Mm -hmm. How about a red a pepper? Are we going to wait on that a minute? Yeah. Well, you have any? You have any butter? Because I I, I think I called for butter. Did I? It does. It calls right. for butter. Put some butter in there. Half a stick. How about nice. quarter? A quarter. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so I would have gone with the half. <laughs> <laughs> We will we will use the other quarter. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. How 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 are your flavors? How, how's it smelling? Smelling good. Nice, lovely, lovely. Okay, now you can put in the um the peppers. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Great. Stir that up. Okay. Put a little bit of crikey in there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never overdo the crikey. Never too much crikey. No, no. Crikey. Well, folks, don't worry about crikey. Crikey is not on the um on the recipe, okay? <laughs> that is a, I'm picturing a ton of comments going, where do I get crikey? <laughs> what is it talking about? <laughs> That, that is an internal pirate joke. Of course, you never uh, worry yeah. about it unless you've forgotten to right. do it. And now you could put in the other uh, stick, uh, the other quarter stick of butter. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, we're going to chop that up a little bit so it melts yes. nicely. Okay. 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 Mm, it smells lovely. All right. You could you could put in the peas now. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> so that will soften up a bit. I'm sorry. Did you say salt? No. Well, yes, yeah, you could add some salt. Add some of that I sea don't salt. Think there was any called for? So I'm just going to be a little liberal about the salt there. Yeah. Because remember, you have to you have to season it. Right. Because I am sure when you boil the rice, did you did you salt the water? When I did not it, this time. Okay, well then, well then, we have to put a little more salt in there because it's going to be very bland. Okay. That's, that's why she really didn't. Let me take a long, cool drink of this. <laughs> Arr, Arr. Okay, I'm going to move everything but the uh, raisins and the turmeric off the rice. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, when you come back, you could um, you could throw in you could throw in the turmeric and then start putting in the rice. Okay, how much turmeric are we putting in? You can start with about a teaspoon. Uh, just just eyeball it. Just just throw yeah. it in there. Yeah. Because that goes a long way. Yeah, put it in. You could always add more. Right. Mix, mix that up. Okay. All right. Now you can start uh, putting in the rice. Okay. Call for a cup at a time. So yeah. you know, will you all be? I'm just gonna grab it and put it in. 
I like that. Hands on. Yeah. Hands, hands on. on. Yeah. Yes, drop it in. Drop it, it in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the yeah, And mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Put a little more rice. Put a little more rice. A little more rice. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, just hold it. Just hold the bowl over it and just, just put it. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Put all the rice. Keep mixing. Mm, that's looking mm. Look at the color of it. Right. Um, okay. Keep keep stirring. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Add more rice. Because you remember you, you're um, you're running low on the um, on the on the butter and the um, you because do, you don't want it to burn. Right. So you you keep keep stirring it. Keep stirring it. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> okay. If you if you need more turmeric, you could you could put some in because okay. the rice. Remember the rice has to be yellow. Right. I think we could use a little bit more. So let me just right. get in the bottom of the pan where there's a little yeah. fat yet. Right, a little bit. Let's mix okay. it up. Keep keep stirring. Keep stirring. Okay. Keep stirring. Um, you could you remember now you said you didn't salt the water when you boil the rice. No, but I put salt in here twice, so we're gonna taste it in You're a You're gonna taste oh, right, exactly. Rule of thumb, folks, always taste between steps. Uh, Larry, there's another pirate trying to get in, if you can just look in the chat. Okay. All right, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have room? Yeah. Okay. One Better. last stowaway. One Try last the stowaway. Ladder. The ladder. The rope okay, ladder. So I'm going to give it a taste here. Give it a taste. Give it a taste. Is he in a dinghy, Richard? <laughs> now our, our plantain's boiling hard. I'm going to turn it down, Captain or Larry. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long will we need to cook that plantain? Do you suppose? Well, when they're um, nice and we'll we'll check it with a fork. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now taste taste that rice because I was inviting somebody while I was I wasn't looking so. Paul Paul Platt, I'm not sure we can say the word dingy and I hang out on air just so you know. Oh, we can't. Oh. All right, looking good. Inflatable. Looking good. All right, now now put in the raisins. Put in the raisins now. Right. Okay. A half a cup of raisins, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. Oh yes, that looks lovely. Okay. Okay. Let's taste one more time. Let's get yep. a raisin in it this time. See if I put I put quite a bit of salt in now. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. What if I thought I wanted a little more turmeric? That's it's all a subjective, you know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Okay. Because now that the salt's in, it's really bringing the flavor out. It's very nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, you you want to turn the um, flame down on that. that. Yeah, yeah, turn the flame down on that. Okay. Because all that should be going on on a low on a low fire. Okay, and it is. Okay. Good. Mmm. You're making me hungry again. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> All right. Now, that should be done. Mm -hmm. And you want to take it off the heat because you don't want it to um, overcook. Cook anymore. All right. All right. Let me okay. Right. Great. Should I put a lid on it or should I leave the lid off? Yeah, I was going to say put a lid on. Yeah, put a lid on it. Put a yeah. lid on it. Put a ring on it. Put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. <laughs> yes, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Right. right. Good. 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 Now, um. So we. Uh, what are we gonna do next? Well, we're gonna do the shrimp. We had to make that. Right. We had to make that sauce. All right. So, I always, Larry, Larry, you're the expert chef, but that, I always wondered about the the word large shrimp. But this doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
oxymoron is jumbo shrimp. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I've got a nice large plant here. Let me check the plantain to be sure that our water is still yeah. good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, right. um, remember, check it with a fork. Make sure it's okay, fork, fork, fork tender. Once it's fork tender, you're good, you're good to go. Not through the skin, though. No, it's not yet. No. All right. Yeah. It'll take a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what, okay. uh, what temperature are we going here? Well, we're going there with a medium. Okay. You, you could do medium, medium to high, medium to high to okay. start. Go a little bit higher. Yep. I have melted my uh, burner control because I like the giant pan, and again, my crappy stove wants to just mm. you know. It's okay. a little exciting sometimes here. <laughs> okay, so we have the lovely shrimp that we have marinated. All right, rem remember what we're doing now. We we we're gonna start. This that shrimp is going in last. Yes, I know. Okay, so uh -huh. we have to build the sauce on that. And so, here I come with the sauce tray. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. Mmm. Uh, and I think I think we. You have any more butter? You have butter there, right? Great. All I right. have butter here. All right. Um, you can start with the butter. Okay. Yeah. You, you have any? You have any oil? Or grapeseed oil or anything like that? Because I have canola. I have olive. All right. Okay. Canola. Throw some canola in there. First. Yeah. Okay. A little canola. Okay. Like a tablespoon or two. Yeah, about two tablespoons. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Actually, that looked like one table. Anyway, I was about to say that's some small yeah. tablespoons they have in the United that's States. Small, <laughs> that's a small <laughs> tablespoon. <laughs> Put a little more oil in there. <laughs> yeah. Put a little more oil in there. All right, more oil. I mean, we have plenty of oil down in the galley. We have plenty of oil in the galley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't be, don't be chinksing on the. On the, on the oil. No. <laughs> we have butter still to right. put in. Okay, well, swirl, swirl it around. Swirl that pan around. Pick it yeah, up like a... Hey, uh, uh, Julia, a while ago, I don't know if we caught this, but Connie is asking, what did you say was cooking in the smaller silver pot, and where, where can you find it? Uh, this is plantain, and plantain is kind of a cross between a banana and a potato. Um, it's tropical, and it can be, you know, run from more potato-like flavor to pretty sweet, depending on how ripe you let it get. So I bought those at my local store, and I, I just cut them. I let them ripen, and then I cut them on a bias. And I'm steaming them in here in just a little bit of water. Okay. Um, watch, watch that skillet you're doing there now, Jules, because okay. you remember, you, you don't you put put the butter in, and we can start the um start the sauce. All right, great. So there's the butter. Might be a little high, huh? Yeah, turn it down, turn it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to get it out my favorite utensil. I have a friend that makes these for me. These oh, wooden those, paddles. I love them. nice. Yeah, they're fabulous. Okay. Mmm, look at that. Good start to any meal. This is not the low-fat uh, day of cooking, is it? <laughs> it all balances out. Because we have coconut milk, one of my personal favorites, but of course not. And you know, you can get light coconut milk. I, I don't I don't usually bother with that because if I'm going to eat it, I want the full fat. Okay. Those are good fats. Those are health. Those are the yeah. healthy fats. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. It's always so nice. Okay. So right. my butter's nice and frothy now. What are we going to do here? Okay. Are we going to put in the shallots? Right. And the garlic. There's the shallots. Okay, put in the shallots. The shallots. Just hold, hold off on the garlic just yet. Just hold off on the garlic. Just let that get a little um, translucent. Okay. Just mm -hmm. let it uh, get all in, all in with the butter there. Now you could put in the um, put in the garlic now. Yeah, let let everybody jump in the pool. Okay, everybody in the pool. Yeah. yeah. I love this yeah. overboard. Let them, yeah, let them walk the plank. Show them in the, show them in the drink. <laughs> I left that garlic a little bit larger. It called for crushed, so I actually did crush it. That's and, then, and that's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And I ran my knife through it just a bit, but I left right. it a little larger than I did for the um, 
for the uh, sauce. Okay. And uh, what else? What else we have there to decide? Well, we've got um, our vegetables again. Now it called for green pepper, but yeah. I went ahead and added. I'm going to add extra veggies, and so I did a red pepper as well. And okay. then we have some diced celery. Okay. Um, put in put in the celery. Put in the celery. All right. Mix that in. Lovely. What temperature are we on here, Larry? We should be at a at a medium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh you have any more butter? Sure. Yeah. Put a little more butter in there. Butter makes it better. Butter. <laughs> Always makes it better. Butter. This the, How much? this segment sponsored by butter. <laughs> and heart surgeons of America. <laughs> How come it looks How like much Larry? more, Larry? Uh, but about a quarter stick. Okay. Looks like yeah. Larry's. Uh, You're not easy, Larry. <laughs> I mean, it, this is a rich sauce we're making here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. Yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that. That has French roots. Ah, it does. He said, oh, yeah. don't I'm give down. butter. Down. butter. <clears throat> I like butter. Butter's good. Yeah. Okay. Now put in the um. You could put in the veggies. Okay. Look at that. Looks like Christmas, Beautiful. doesn't it? Color. Christmas, Christmas, a pirate's Christmas. A pirate's life for me. Bring the cactus to the. To the show today because there's right. no room. Um, put a little salt in that, a little pepper, white pepper if you have. I do. Okay. Let me get it. Arr, sea do, salt. Do you, <coughs> Julia, do you have any yo's or hoes in there at all? Yes, I have some yo hoes right here. It's going in in a minute. <laughs> all right. <laughs> good, good. <Yeah. laughs> the colors right after the correct. cranky. Yeah, a little bit of crikey. Put some crikey in there. <laughs> Does that come in a can? You folks at home, when you go to the grocery store, make sure you ask your uh, grocer for yo's, hose, and crikey. <laughs> uh, Look out that, for the whole thing. Uh, 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 I think we maybe need a little more heat, huh? Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean... It's it's all it's all depending on your stove because yeah. and everybody's stove is different. Yeah. On a on a flame on a flame uh, you want to keep that on a on a medium on a medium flame. And I'm a little above medium because it takes a little while for yeah to yeah. Do its magic. Okay, now you can put in the um, mix it up a little bit and uh, then you could put in the coconut milk. Okay. That looks awesome. Doesn't it? And th it tastes awesome, I'll tell you. Who's going to eat all that? Uh, important well, questions. This is dinner tonight. <laughs> but I made a half batch last night and I ate it all myself. Wow. I know. Yeah. But is I didn't it, make rice or anything with it. Just it, it you're going to make it for your son? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to serve this for him when he comes home. I'm just going to have okay. to not, I don't want it to cook too long. So now coconut milk. and I'm Coconut this, milk, yeah. You know, I just, the one thing I think that everybody ought to know about the coconut milk is always be sure you shake the can well. Uh oh, am I frozen? I am frozen. Oh, no. Larry's frozen. I, I'm frozen. <laughs> I am frozen. Don't worry about it. Larry's preserved. <laughs> so there's the lovely coconut milk in it. All right. Mm, script that out, girl. Fro fro frozen versus frigid. There's difference. There's a difference. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the coconut milk in, and we have the honey too, Larry. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get the honey in there. Don't worry. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
delightful. Okay. So crank, gonna... crank, crank it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And then let that uh, get to a slight bubble. Okay. And then you can drop it back. Okay. I'm going to move okay. the tray away here because we're going to mm -hmm. need space here. And because we've got sauce finisher here. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to turn that down to a just to a simmer, right? No, just no. Keep it, keep it boiling. I mean, keep keep the heat up because you you want you want to get that coconut milk, you know, bubbling a little. Okay. Mm. Mm. And at this point, you could always taste to see what you what you need. If you if you need a little more um, more salt or. It should be a nice balance between the, the sweetness of the... Well, we haven't put our honey in yet. No, we haven't put the honey in yet. No, we're going to put that in. Oh, nice. Very nice. Does honey burn? It can. Yeah, this it, it, it's, like, it's like, honey, I shrunk the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. <laughs> I think you could make this for uh, Christmas Eve dinner. It's so festive looking. Yeah. <laughs> With the red and green. <laughs> uh, that captain cracks me up, boy. I swear. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you could <laughs> put put in the honey. <laughs> put it, put in the honey. Okay, I had the honey, of course, pre-measured last night when I cooked, but that was just all stuck in the containers. Yeah. So we're just going to put it in. It calls for two tablespoons, right? Yeah. yeah. Better listen yeah. to Serena on the size of your tablespoon. Yeah. <laughs> Use some Caribbean yeah. tablespoons. Yes, which is a five spoon. You know, women are much more me uh, better measurers than men, though, right? You know that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I could have gone somewhere with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you forget to get into a, a, a size matters thing, we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trust me. I'm all over my hands, so I got to get them wiped off here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And now we're going to stir that in. Yeah, stir it in. How, how does it taste, though? Did you did you taste? I did, but I'm going to taste it again. I added taste, a little bit more. Taste mm -hmm. it again. Uh, you know what? We forgot to deglaze the pan. Yeah, you're, you're right, right. That's all right. Just put it in. Put it in. Put it in. What did you say? To deglaze it with the rum. Yep, we forgot. That so was that was before. Just before you put in the um the milk. Yep. Um, after you get the butter and the rest of the ingredients all marrying up, mm -hmm. and it's the butter starts to 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 dissipate and 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 leave. Uh, you put in the the rum or wine or whatever alcohol to deglaze. Well, and that will you bring all the flavors to together. Glaze and stuff, and it's just sitting there. You could just like do a shot. Right? You could do a shot. Yeah, yeah. and if, you if, could if, just do a shot, right? <laughs> yeah. And we're using the Angostura. I used this. Oh, hello. To deglaze the pan, but I did use the dark one. Remember in the marinade. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. So, so at at this point now, you want to taste it. Because you, you remember, you just put in the rum. You you have it turned up because you want to burn that that alcohol right. taste up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it it's should, boiling. Should yeah. start to bubble. Taste it now. You might have to put in a little more um, honey. It's hard to tell because we don't have our spicy in there yet. Yeah, we don't have the spicy in there yet. A little more honey. All right. All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir that up. De honey my hands here. Okay. Stir that up. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. Really, wouldn't this be a lovely holiday dish with the yeah. green and red peppers and? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Love that. Always looking for something like that. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Now, now, now you can put in the um, put in the shrimp. Okay. 
So I'm just going to dump the marinade in with, right? Yeah, just dump it in there. The whole thing. Okay. Now, now, how drunken are those shrimp? They're pretty <laughs> drunk. <laughs> They're about four ounces worth drunk. All right. Whoa. With that, so, so, so if they got pulled over, there might be a DUI involved? Yeah, they would definitely be doing a roadside. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> You remember now, keep 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 your heat consistent so it's up, right? Keep it up. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because th remember the shrimp doesn't take long to um right. to cook. Right. So we're gonna just let that go for a minute, right? Yeah, just let that go, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna move this the sauce finish away because I wanna make my salad. Okay. Okay. So here's the salad. Check um check your plantains. Okay, I will check my plantains. Mm -hmm. See how they're going. Uh, they're getting pretty soft. We probably could leave them in yet a little bit longer even, right till the end. Okay, check your water level too. Mm -hmm. And it could use a little water. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Check your rum level. And <laughs> okay. So those are gonna those are good back there. Okay, so the salad, um, I'm just using spring greens, and I don't normally buy them pre-bagged, but you know I was using them right away today, and I love it because it's a nice, colorful mix, and you don't have to buy four different kinds to make it lovely. So I'm going to um, make a little dressing today, and I'm going to use um, some rice wine vinegar here, and. Uh, Need a little. Uh, Julia, will there be any undressing involved here? <laughs> Maybe redressing involved. Okay. A little, little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Not too much. We're not going to make too much dressing here because this is light. We don't need much. About an equal amount of rice wine vinegar. Uh, and I'm going to squeeze an orange into this. Let's see how that goes. But then we, we, we don't want any scurvy, right? No scurvy. No, no, no scurvy. scurvy. No scurvy for the pirates. That's my lime squeezer. It's not really working very well. Here, let's abandon that. Yeah. Just squeeze it into the jar. Arr. Like a good pirate would. <laughs> I'm going to stir my shrimp here. Check it out, keep it. Be careful saying he things like that. Like <laughs> <laughs> he was nearly onto it. He was well, no, he thought about about that. pirate wood today. <laughs> okay, so we've got some orange in there, and the uh, rice wine vinegar, and uh, a little olive oil, and then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my new favorite condiment, bitters. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and use the bitters in there because that's going to be my main flavoring. Mm -hmm. So we'll put be liberal about that because this is dressing and you know it's going to go far. I have to say one thing though, Julia, you believe in bitters. <laughs> I like them so much. I'm I'm a true bitter convert now. Yeah. So, bitter convert. That's... Julia, I like to. I, I really love the fact that you can pass it from screen to screen. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I'm going to add into the green salad some shredded carrots. Lovely. And some nice little bits of pineapple that I've cut up pretty small so they kind of match the size of the carrots. Oh, nice. And I have a lot of actually fruit and condiment. And then I'm going to do a few little green onions in there because I just always love that. That's good in any salad to me. And now I'm looking for the lid for the jar to shape the dressing. But if we can't find it, we're just going to mix it. Yeah, we are pirates. We do what we want. Right, we have to yeah. make do. Yeah. Have to make do. Arr. Yeah. Arr. Now you know what we need in here, though, is we need some salt. Mm -hmm. Sea sure. salt. A little salt. Gotta be sea and salt. I gotta stir my shrimp again. My shrimp are almost done there. Yeah. And and then, keep uh, keep keep an eye on it. Uh, if there's anything you might want to put it low. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it low now. Just on low. Mm -hmm. Gonna do a little fresh black pepper in the salad. I did not put any in the dressing. We just put it in the salad. And then I'm going to go ahead and need to taste this though and make sure that we're happy with it. And, and that's lovely. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and dress the salad lightly. 
A lightly dressed salad is good. I'm yeah. sorry? Nothing. <laughs> and then we're going to toss that. So we have a lovely, lovely salad there. And, you know, featuring our lovely Angostura bitters. And, mm. and uh, let's see. How's that? There we oh. go. Good job. And That's it's nice. Delicious. The carrots yeah. and the pineapple, sweet and crunchy and yet tangy. So we're going to move that off. Okay, now. Salad back here. I think our shrimp are done, Captain. Check, check it, check it, check your shrimp. Taste yeah. one, taste one. Um, we, 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 remember, we don't want to eat raw shrimp now. No, we never want to eat raw shrimp. They're all yeah. curled up, though, so that's always a good indicator. Uh, yeah, but they've been drunk. You know? After you're drunk, you curl up, too. Yes. Mmm, <laughs> perfect. Okay, great. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What what you what you do now? Get some of that lemon, zest it, zest it, squeeze some lemon juice on it, and um, if you have, did I did I call for parsley? I did, did not I, call for parsley. But I if, have a little lemon zest I already did last night. All right. A little okay. more. Now, of course, I like to always kind of want to run this along my finger and hurt myself, but mm. I like to use my little Zeiss. Your little zester. Yeah, it's yeah. It, your microplane. It, it <laughs> right. for a half of a that, teaspoon. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. This, this puts yeah. the and, uh, lemon. Let me cut yeah. that. Right. No, I'm not. That was just part of the, the zest means the, the skin, the skin on the um. Just on the, the, on the yellow fruit. part, though. We don't want yeah. any of that nasty pith in there. Right. And then we're going to do, do the juice of the lemon. Yeah. Half a lemon, Larry, or two? Yeah, that's that's good. That's half half a lemon is good. I think half is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and I'm gonna leave my little green onions because they go very last. I'm gonna leave them right here. All right. And, and just just mix that up a little bit so the flavors okay. the flavors could be distributed evenly. Yes. Mmm. 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 Yum. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. You think? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, we don't want that to cook. And uh, throw the um, thing on it now. The lid? No, well, the, um, the you have the onions there? Oh, the scallions, this, yes. The scallions, scallions, yeah. The scallions, yeah. Now, Larry, if like me, you don't, I don't eat shellfish, would you mm -hmm. recommend I substitute with like a white, with, with, like a with, mild white fish yes, fillet? Or? Yes, yes, you could do that with fish. You could do it with, um, with chicken. You know, okay. uh, chicken breast, strips. Yeah, cubit. Yeah, I would cube it yeah. on. Cubit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, strips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. yeah. Right. Yeah. I like um, the seafood vibe. I like the. Uh, yeah. so I'll use fish. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Taste exactly. This. Taste. Taste. How much did you spend just, just, for this? Uh, Lisa, just be careful if you use chicken. Uh, the drunken chicken, they tend to peck at you a little bit. So <laughs> Step <laughs> back when they're drunken. Is that how Paul lost his eye? <laughs> <laughs> a bit more salt. Okay. Yeah. That's looking great. Now this is wonderful, and there was cornstarch in the recipe, but you know it isn't really. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's really not necessary. I mean, if if you like a little thickness to your to your sauce, use your yeah. cornstarch. Some people like it runny. Some people like it thick. I, I think it depends on what you eat it with too. Like if it was with noodles, I would right. thicken it. So it I would thicken it. Right. Yeah, but with, but with rice, rice is fine. It's fine. Yeah. Right. Good, good point there, Serena. Julia, how much did you spend on this dinner tonight? Well, I've made it twice, actually, because I did a test run. But the pound of, of the um, shrimp, which was 16 to 24 per count, was at seven fifty, And this is going to feed four people, so that was really nice. Uh, the plantain were, you know, that was a dollar and a half. The rice was nothing. Uh, vegetables and ingredients to go in all of that was probably another eight dollars or so. Of course that didn't include the rum. I have the rum because I have that on hand. Mm -hmm. Or the bitters. <laughs> although I saw bitters for five ninety nine. That's a good um, price. That, that is a good price. Grocery store, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm gonna say that all told this with everything including the greens and all, you know, I probably spent um twenty dollars maybe for the four. And I, I have and that's gonna mm -hmm. actually be more than I'll eat. Because I'm not didn't use all the greens and mm -hmm. and all of that. So 
And I think that really that's for a lovely shrimp meal, I think that's very reasonably priced. Yeah, and it's always a and rum on hand, right? And I, and I do always have rum on hand because that's just the kind of pirate I am. Arr. Yeah, arr. And speaking of rum, speaking of rum, this is a good segue to the cocktail okay. that we're going to be doing. So yeah, we can just... You didn't pay just, for everything at the grocery store. You, you did pillage some of the stuff, right? You're saving money? <laughs> okay, let me do this. i got to make a bit of space here. <clears throat> Try not to stab I'm impressed, myself. Julia. Not a knife. Very good. Paul yeah. Platt is impressed. Say that time. I'm very impressed. Food and cocktails. Wow. And cocktail. Yeah, so I'm going to get some ice. Of course. Moment to go. Yeah, I'm impressed too. If Paul Platt's impressed, I'm impressed. <laughs> is that all it takes, George? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still frozen. <laughs> Are we going to make this an up drink or uh, on the rocks drink, Captain? Or uh, on the rocks, on the rocks, my dear. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put a few rocks then in this glass. That'll be what we'll strain into. Mm. And we now, at, at this point, at this point, feel free to use the recipe because that is something that you know not not too many people make cocktails and you know. Of course. So I'm. So here we go. We've got ice in the shaker, the mm -hmm. fabulous Pirates Pub Cosmopolitan shaker. Uh, yeah. lovely. Yeah, and we're, we need. Uh, Love it. We need. Oh, geez, pineapple juice. I wasn't very prepared. Can you believe it? And uh, while while you're getting the pineapple juice, don't forget your bottle of crikey. Uh, 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 Julia, oh, what's right. that? What's that, bottle, yeah, yeah. What, what's that red bottle you have right there? <sighs> Oh, this is grenadine because uh, I forgot the last time I got it. <laughs> 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 here, here, uh, here, here uh, can you can you move that out of the shop for a second? Where did you? Oh, thank. Oh, it's awesome how you do this. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Where did you purchase that? What store? Any grocery store? My grocery store had it, but yeah. if you couldn't find it at grocery store, a liquor store should always carry it. Yeah, I, really great, wanna, great. I really want to give a call out to Chichu for adding the app where we can pass bottles uh, uh, through the uh, <laughs> through the hangouts. It's yeah. really cool. Right. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Okay. Here. Calls for the dark and the light rum. Right. We're going to start with. Why uh, did you put me on mute? Everybody else is talking. Yeah, no, Larry, what's up? So what's, what's up, up Larry? Larry? You know, I'm going to get off. Goodbye. Conspiracy? <laughs> You're going to miss my shrimp. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do uh, <laughs> an ounce and a half of, uh, it calls for an ounce, but we're pirates, so we're doing right. an ounce and a half exactly. of dark, and we're using the seven-year-old um, the Angostura. Right. Um I just want to make one note that um, the original Rum Runner, as far as the liqueur, it calls for uh, banana, li uh, banana liqueur and blackberry liqueur. I have Ooh, the banana. Okay. You know what? I was going to ask you about this because my yeah. husband and I have spent a fantastic week in the Florida Keys, and we were at a house right next to a resort called the Holiday Isle where they did <laughs> Rum Runners out of a slushy machine. Right. Okay. So they. Ha I have the banana. I don't think I have the blackberry, but I wanted yeah. to make it actually for a pirates pub coming up. My and, version. And the only reason why I um I call it a Trinidadian rum runner is because um, uh, the blackberry daiquiri. I mean blackberry liqueur and the um, banana liqueur. We really don't, you know, use that down here. When we when we do our rum, it's just straight rum, coke, lime, and uh, simple syrup. Right. You know? Can't mess around with anything too. Yeah, yeah. we don't need that and stuff. Very party. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got an, an ounce and a half each of Lisa. kinds of rum. I think we, I think we need a. Uh, I think we need a, uh, um, a. A drink called the Trinidad. No, I, I don't like this. Everybody else. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Now go ahead. I'm going to put in the two ounces of simple syrup it calls for. Right. And we're going to put in, um, it calls for an ounce of orange juice. And so I actually upped the rum, and I'm going to up the juice just slightly. And again, I'm using the same as I did the other day, the orange with mango. 
because that's so tropical and because I had it open. Correct. And then I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use pineapple juice. Oh, hey, is, is the syrup sauce just cooling down, or is, is it on low, or what? It's on. It's on very low. Okay. All right, so there we go. But you could, it would have been ready to serve at any point. But it's kind of nice that it sits and rests. It and, wants and to rest. Hard to the overcooked? No, they're fine. No boiling. No, because the um the the heat is off under 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 the shrimp. Yeah, the heat is off under the shrimp. It is. Yeah. The only thing that's still cooking actually is still the plantain. Check your plantains. Yes, I will check the plantain. They should be ready any second now. Yep. We need a splash of the um, grenadine and a splash of the bitters. Mm-hmm. So there we go. Like that. Okay. And before I shake that, I'm going to check our plantain. And I say that it looks done. Okay, so great. Nice. 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 Woo! Brilliant comment. I, I, I think the Pirates Pub and this kind of cooking is one place you can always be bitter and be okay about it. <laughs> call me yeah. a bitter here. <laughs> okay, lovely. So I've got that nicely shaken now. Look at the color. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. So now we're going to pour that into a nice glass here with, uh, with the uh, ice cubes. So we're on the rocks there. Okay. And so We're not on the rocks. Can I drink this now? Mmm. Uh oh. David That's Sam, a delicious. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> we'll move the cocktail tray off. Hey, and Jules. Now we're ready to play. Or, oh, I better take the plantain off the skin. Yeah, Jules. Jules, you, you need to take another um, swig of that rum again because I, I don't think I had you on uh, on on cam. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Good. Drunk. All right. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> take two. He must, have swum, he must have swum from shore to get on board. Yeah, well, I had to make room for David Santi, so I had to um, let somebody walk the plank. And, and it just happened to be your sister. Well, I'm, it just I'm stepping to be my away sister. from that one. <laughs> from that one. Well, I gotta say, Larry is a true ruthless pirate. He even makes his what sister walk the plank. <laughs> Making your own sister walk the plank. Okay. Uh, the family. Uh, Where are you gonna hear about this? <laughs> that's pirate, Larry. That's, that's pirate. That's, <laughs> that's a, a true pirate spirit. I got to get your skin off the plank, Larry. Hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna. They're a little hot. Well, what you do? Take take a take a, a kitchen towel, hold it in your hand, and and cut it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy mm -hmm. enough. And they're very soft now. So perfect. There you go. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nice. Wow. Well, yeah. Food and cocktails. Well, that's brilliant. <laughs> Julia, you're very skilled in your yo's and ho's. I have to give it to you. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. <laughs> yeah. One of the best rides. Yeah, hey, ahoy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can we get a hoy here? Very nicely, Larry. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to do enough to set our plate up because. This takes a little while, and because my skin isn't coming off very well, I wonder why. Yeah, oh, you just you just put it under the skin and 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 cut it. You, usually, you should cut it with either a serrated knife or a very sharp um, a paring knife. Inferior plantain. Ah, well then, it's yeah. not from the Caribbean. Right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, folks, uh, just okay. go to inferiorplantain.com for more information. That's right. <laughs> Okay, are we ready to plate? Yes, let's plate. Let's plate. Let's plate. Okay. Before I plate, I'm going to have to have another little sip of my cocktail. Uh, Ooh. Mm -hmm. All that hard work. All that hard work. I know. It was, yeah. but so worth it. Yeah. So, here we've got ready to go. Okay. Let's go to our rice here first. That rice looks just absolutely fabulous. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? Yes. So I'm going is it, to is it sticky? take a paddle here, no? another tool that my friend Ed makes for me so I can cook well. 
Now, should we serve it on the rice or beside the rice, Larry? No, you could put it on the rice. I just, so, I'll give a little both. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. I, again, this is all, you know, subjective. It's, I understand. It's, it's, I like my rice to show, though. And I'm going to have to discard my nice little paddle for a big spoon that scoops because I have go. good sauce. So there we go. Very nice. Very nice. And, and drizzle some of that sauce in there. Yes. And you know what? There's a, really, it, this would serve four easily, if, mm -hmm. maybe more. So we're loving that. Doesn't that look mm. delicious? Yes. Okay. Mm. And then we're going to add a, we're going to put a couple of plantain here. I'm going to give mm -hmm. them the sauce since they're probably going to be delicious in the sauce. How's that? And then nice. Salad here, and then I'm going to show you back the like lovely salad too. All right, then. How's that look? Ah, gorgeous. Oh, excellent. Wow. Gorgeous. Hold, hold it up. Hold it up to the cam. Uh, oh, very nice. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful Smells plate. Delicious. Gonna take D a bite. Dig in. Mmm. 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 Mm. Leave some. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this is that the heat is very underlying. Now, if yeah. if you had the um, Scotch bonnet pepper, it would have been more pronounced. Mm -hmm. The heat, the heat would have been. But but, but then again, you remember you're using coconut milk, so the coconut milk will dissipate any kind of heat. You know, that well, is why that is why I call for um, Scotch bonnet. And indeed, there's an underlying heat, but then there's the sweetness. Right. And of course, there is the cumin in there, and the garlic, and the shallot, and it's just it all just becomes this multi level uh, level of flavor that. Mm. Oh, uh, Larry! I wanted to let you know I was at a party last night, and and they had a box of something I'd never seen before, and it was a box of roasted seaweed. I'd never heard of it. Yeah. Um. In 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 sushi, you 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 use seaweed. Wow. Mm -hmm. So on the plantain, uh, do you ever put butter on it, or is it uh, sweet enough as it is? Uh, since it's it's, it's usually it. it's usually sweet enough, but you could um, you could do some plantains in in a little bit of grandma. I sometimes I have a little bit of butter, a little bit of grandma, and yeah, put some. Um, some plantains in there, along with uh, some cinnamon. You know, sh sprinkle cinnamon and um, not not for long. Just flambe, just a little bit, and ooh, it's a lovely dessert with some ice cream. Okay, but right now, since it's on the side of the dish, mm -hmm. she's not she's not touching the plantain uh, against the sauce or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. I mean, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a it's something that you could. You know, eat it by itself in, I'm in a meal. I'm actually having a bite here with my rice. It's fabulous yeah. this way. But that's plantain and rice and all the veggie. Some people fry it, but in this case, you know, keep it a little healthy, steam it. I've had the fried, and it was very good. <laughs> but the steamed, I've never had before. When I was uh, in Africa, they used to like to put it in. Um, brown it soup, which was peanut soup, which we ate over rice, and I loved it that way. Where, where were you in Africa? Uh, you were making fun of this, and, and you did not hear me make the joke. I was in Sierra Leone. Oh. Wow. Wow, that, that, that's, that, that, we, we won't, we won't, uh,